Hi everybody! Um, I haven't done a video in a really long time, so I thought today would be a monumental day to catch everybody up. So today is March 10th, 2020, and it marks exactly two years since I began this journey. Um, so if I were to take you back two years ago, what happened with me is I was having what felt like a horrible migraine. Um, at this point, obviously, it's morning time right now, but in the evening. So if I were to go back two years and maybe a week, um, my migraine was so bad. I was sleeping with ice packs on my head. Um, I couldn't sleep. It hurt. And eventually everything got worse. As I was driving, I would get these visual auras. I remember one day I was trying to drive my kid to daycare um, to drop her off and I the auras got so bad I had to pull over. And I remember when I got to daycare, my daycare lady was like, Oh, are you? And I was like, Oh, my migraine. Went home that day, you know, at that point I knew I couldn't work, went home, you know, all those things. And two years ago, in the middle of the night, um, my husband, I don't recall this, but my husband says that I was breathing funny in my sleep. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, my husband used to work for Cal Fire, so he obviously has his EMT in order to do that. Um, and so when I was breathing funny in my sleep, he tried to wake me up. Um, from what everybody tells me, um, that I was confused, I was disoriented, so during that process, he actually called 911 and the ambulance came. Um, I do remember briefly the paramedics asking me if I could walk down the stairs. So my bedroom is on a second story. Um, and then once I got outside my house, I sat onto the gurney. Um, and at that moment, when I got into the ambulance, as I was being transported to the hospital, I do recall having a seizure in the ambulance. Um, and I remember hearing them, oh, she's seizing, she's seizing. From that point, I don't remember much. Um, I was told that at the hospital I was combative, um, which I don't know why I would be combative, which is a joke, because anyone that knows me, I'm a little stubborn. So they were trying to control me, and so they actually had to um, put my arms down and tie me to the bed. Um, but at that point when I was at the hospital, my husband ended up coming. Um, he had to call my mom to come watch the kids cause, or the kid at the time we had a kid. So my mother came to my house, watched our baby. Um, and then my husband came to the hospital and at that point they had told him that, you know, they really need to do a CT scan. Now, just to kind of fill you guys in, um, I did go and see a neuro, so I had already gone to the ER. Um, I had loss of movement at one point on my left side of my body where I was walking into things and the ER said, you know, it's fine. It's a migraine. I followed up with a neurologist and he told me it was a tension headache and that I need to stretch like this, that I'm getting headaches because of the tension in my shoulders, which wasn't true. Um, and so I'd already seen doctors. I'd already gone to the ER. And so now I was back at the ER and um, they wanted to do a CT scan. And the reason they hadn't done one at my previous ER visit is because I was actually 16 weeks, 17 weeks pregnant at this point with my son. Um, so at this point, they told my husband, we really need to do a CT scan. And when they did, they found my brain tumor. Um, they transported me to UCSF. At that time, it was now nighttime, so I was transported from my home to a local hospital, um, I think around 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, and then that evening, it was so foggy, they couldn't fly me, so they drove me to UCSF, which is a couple hours from my house. Um, I don't recall any of this, and actually I was at the hospital a few days, but after a seizure, apparently you kind of have this brain fog where you know you go in and out and my family actually thought I was sedated and I wasn't I was recovering from the seizure so I had two seizures um, maybe a third uh, they have a theory that maybe that breathing when I was in my sleep was actually my first seizure one in the ambulance and then one at the hospital um, so I had two for sure maybe three uh, and then when I went to UCSF they actually ended up 
doing another scan and mapping out my brain and I had brain surgery. Um, so today again is March 10th. Two years ago, I got transported to UCSF and in two days, it will be my brain anniversary of two years of having um, brain surgery. Uh, so it's been a long journey throughout the two years. Obviously, the blessing in disguise, long story short, is I had brain surgery and I was 17 weeks pregnant. So of course, I was really worried about my son, but at that point, you know, a healthy mom makes a healthy baby and they made a choice that the best thing was for me to have my brain surgery because it wasn't healthy um, for me at that point. And my son was fine, everything was good. They monitored him, it was wonderful. Well, now I'm a high risk pregnancy. So the blessing in disguise is because of my high risk pregnancy, um, they were able to, or they needed to do several ultrasounds very often. And they actually caught the fact that my son had what they call a coarctation of the aorta. Um, so he has a skinny valve pumping blood to his heart. Now, anyone who's gone through the process, it's never that straightforward of an answer. It's a whole lot of medical terminology and uh, you know, he might have this, but we're not sure and we don't know, we need to do another ultrasound and anyone who's gone through that and when they're telling you to come back for an ultrasound, that's the longest wait of your life. Um, but again, long story cut short, the blessing in disguise is it identified that my son needed surgery at birth. Um, so I went about my pregnancy, everything was normal and healthy. I had a planned birth at UCSF with my son and he had surgery at four days old. Um, the first year of him was all about trying to take care of him as much as I could. Um, he's great. I went six months breastfeeding him and then I had to cut off breastfeeding so that January I could, when he was only six months old, um, that I could go in and start my radiation. And part of my video today is to announce that actually just last week, I am 100% in remission. I am tumor free, I am cancer free, I've completed all of my chemotherapy and I get to actually say that I am in remission. Um, so it's the good part of the journey. Um, the next year, what it looks like for me is every three months I continue to get um, CT scans. And yeah, that's about it. I get scanned, I see my doctor, they do blood work, making sure nothing happens. Uh, because I have a oleodendoglioma, which is a slow growing tumor, I have to get my scans very often to make sure that if there was any growth, they catch it right away um, since it is slow growing. So this last year, I got scans every two months. This year, I get scans every three months. Next year, scans for every four months and so on, five months, six months. So this will be my normal everyday life that I get to live, but at the same time, I have to still check in with my doctor. So yay, two years ago, transported to UCSF, but if you look at me today, um, the main thing I tell everyone is, if you're walking and talking, you know, that's something to remember is that don't take it for granted. Um, after I had my brain surgery, that was my big thing is I was able to walk, um, I was able to talk, I was able to feed myself, I was able to communicate, and those are the little things that we take for granted. Um, so just remember if you're having a bad day, it could always be worse. <laughs> um, but at the end of it all, you know, you have to have a positive mindset and a positive outlook. And you, like I said, my blessing in disguise is it really helped my son have the best start of his life possible. He's now about 18 months old and he is a healthy, healthy 18 month old boy and he's doing fantastic as well. So our family is celebrating because I'm in remission, cancer-free, tumor-free, um, and I will try to keep it updated as much as I can every now and then. Thank you.